Well, we had a rare treat today. Got to go to live storage auction. And uh, oh boy, I got a doozy. I'm not proud of what I paid for this. It's the, I, I don't know if I'm gonna say anything. Uh, Huh? You stole it. I stole it. Yeah, as as somebody told me today, you stole it. You stole it. I didn't steal it. So, look how big this locker is. It's big, huh? All kinds of stuff. What was that? So, got me a Westophilia. Got a little, uh, got some speed contour right here. This is, uh, see, it's, you might think this is damage. It's not. This is, uh, specially contoured for, uh, aerodynamic efficiency. Well, that's how the engine gets cool, too. Yeah, I mean, it improves the cooling. So it's for the engine, you know, it makes this opening smaller. It kind of forces the air in there. Yeah. So, uh, and that's not rust. This is all, this is all, that's all vinyl wrap. You know, it might seem like rust. Pay no attention to that. That was just a piece of the vinyl. It fell off. So, uh, your, your light's way too bright. It washes out your videos. Yeah, I know. You gotta like hold it off to the side. Yeah. Mine's just not even working on right. I don't know the last time I changed to check these batteries. I learned it the hard way. You gotta like hold it off to the side for white. Focus it on. Locks itself. This is pretty cool. I mean, Ooh. it's pretty, um, it's there. I mean, it's got a folding cot up here. Try not to get the light directly on it. Top did pop open. Yeah, it opened nice. I never opened a, a West like this. I've only opened a straight pop tops like uh, a Riviera or a, a Catmobile. Um, what do they call that? Uh, Catmobile. I can't think of the name. Uh, yeah. Penthouse or some shit. There uh, you want. Yeah. Oh. Give them the grand tour. Grand Turismo. Well, I don't know how much we can see up here if my. Stupid light here. This is like kind of like where the window would be, and then another window there. So I think on these Westafillas, on these Type 268 to 78, 79 buses, these hinge from the front. There's the front. They hinge from the front to like this weird, you know, about three quarter way. Uh, but on the uh, the Westies from, I think after 75 or so, they hinge the opposite way. They hinge from the back up. And then the, there's a little spot in the back that doesn't move. Kind of like a rugged rack, but. Yeah, this cotton is pretty cool. It just gets folds like that. I didn't even know what the hell it was. I thought it was like weird awning or something. Um. Oh, the Z bed seems to be here. Let's be with the Z bed. Yeah. Boom! Look at that. No, oh, that's a lot of space there for sleepings. Uh, here's another little seat. More storage. What do we got in there? Nice. Good. Hmm. Yummy. Here's the sink. So we have a sink and uh, you know the dining area right here. The faucet to said sink. I don't know what that. That must be like a gutter system or something. I don't, I don't know where this. Go. Oh, I think there's a water tank and I guess that vents it or something. I don't know. I don't know these ones. I'm not no expert, anyways. 
Dead spider. Dead spider in there. <coughs> the fridge. We're not able to get this door open. The wood panel looks pretty terrible. Julesy windows. Julesy? Is that how you say that? I don't know. Oh, oh look at you. Oh, my flashlight's not working. That's you. What's in there? Interior. Like, huh. All things aside, is actually in decent shape. Huh. Maybe more rain suits. Yeah, I mean, it's still not really going to be. I see why people like them. It's got to be cool setup. What do we got here? Looks like there's speakers under there. That's where the washer fluid goes, there. That's the shift pattern, if you can see that. Got a crazy shifter. Uh, we don't have keys. That's the dash. See, it looks like it's seen better days. This is what they call like a pass through, you know, because you could pass through the center because some of the older buses, as you see here, this is metal here. The other ones just have just like a seat, uh, this platform here without this raised back, like in a 73 or up. I don't know. That's that stuff I knocked on. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Does it look like there's stuff back there? Does it look like there's stuff back there? Just uh, regular old stuff. Dashboard. Dash looks okay. From the inside, the windows look fine. Mirror. Roddy, Roddy, bottom door, Roddy. I like to see the front because a lot of times the noses are pushed in on these. These are Volkswagen wheels. We should probably take uh, a couple of these wheels with. There's two here. There's Volkswagen bus wheels. Looks like there's a snow tires. Let's see if we could. They hold air. Then you know it might help. Just take them with and see if we can. Yeah, we'll take them with us now, today for for a recovery. For, oh wow, you see that? I like these bumper suits. That's like a little step. My X is 73, did not have that. And the marker lights are in different places on these. All right, let's see if we can see the front end here. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's rust underneath the seal there, but, you know, shocker seals are not good. This has a, uh, oh, a Schomburg City sticker from 1982. Uh, I like these uh, clear marker lenses where the later ones, later than this 71, it's this big square guy that's here. Right? I think it's there. Make a big emblem there. Hey, the... There's a plate on the front bumper from 79. Right. And it's a different plate number than the one that's on the back. So, I don't know if, uh, you know, since this says 82 here, that says 79 there. Looks like there's another plate. No, is that just the holder? Okay, this is the holder there. Well, the front end does look good. I mean,. People will cut these off of other buses and put them on smash buses because they're usually dented in. That looks pretty good. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. We might have to... I don't think it's going to latch ever again now. So that's where that tube was. So I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how that tube was. And then this is just nothing. 
Yeah, that's why I don't like those, because there's just nothing. And we couldn't get the trunk open. Good in here? What else have we got in here? Uh, maybe some, some bits and pieces fell underneath or something. But I don't know why that doesn't open. Oh yeah, then the different tail light and signal lenses are... I like the little round ones, though. It's cooler than the 73 and up. And this is usually... Yeah, so... The engine compartment is kind of like here and here. This is some, oh, wow, that's a big crease right there. I just noticed. But this is where probably the battery tray rotted out. And then also on the other side, which is kind of like just a simple tray. And because as air comes in through the sides here, air comes in, travels down inside this cavity, and then, but also water and stuff too. So. Maybe you could see. Can you can you tell us that? How's the engine? Look? We can't see. Does it look good in there? It looks like it's all air. <laughs> I mean, listen. Is it, is it bad that I can taste the air? <laughs> Maybe it was all those flowers the guy said was in here. <laughs> it's just there's a bunch of dead flowers in here. Oof. All right, a spare tire. Oh, yeah, there's a spare tire in here. Maybe we should. We should. Now we got air in it. Uh, if either is really hard or it does have air in it. Take it with two. Better take the three because they're all low and bring air tanks. Um, close it up. Well, this seemed to open rather fine, like the old script too. Take two in case. Oh, not latching. Not latching. Not latching. Okay. Well, not latching. Like. Like these don't lock, so I don't know. I feel why. like we can persuade it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't want to ruin it any more than it already is, but I mean, are you really ruining it? There's almost nothing left of it. I mean, <sighs> oh, is there a dimply spot there? Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. I like the ones in the front. Oh, there's yeah, a tenor. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Then the rest of the unit is, uh, yeah. Well, when we saw this this big box here, it did have a, that cover on it. And, you know, when you're bidding on a unit, you only could be here. And this is what you get to see, you know. So with that being closed and the shape it was, we were kind of hopeful that maybe the people wanted to put an engine in it because it was... The perfect size for a Volkswagen engine. So, unfortunately, what do we figure out on the, uh, instead? That U-Haul <laughs> was in this unit, and oh. they knew everything that was in here. They didn't tell us that. Yeah. I thought I was buying an untouched storage locker with mystery. And we open up the unit, the guy's like, oh, all these boxes are empty. That's an old computer. That's this. Those are some vinyl pull toys. And but I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You you guys were in here? Oh, yeah, we we're all over this unit. I'm like, so, I mean, you didn't want to share that with us beforehand? Like, <laughs> you know, I, I buy lockers because it's taking a chance. It's gambling. It's mystery. And, you know, what's yeah. in that box? What's in that box? And, you know, they, they were in here. They knew what was in here. So, you know, I, I'm more annoyed by that than the fact that a supposed friend ran me up on this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, be careful you haul. Yeah. I understand the guy. What do you say? It was full of flowers all flowers the way. Or something. There was yeah, nowhere to fake, walk. Fake flowers. There was nowhere to walk, but I mean... It was years of uh, fake flowers on their relative's grave. But yeah, we'll take these wheels in the spare. You know, I was taking a chance that some of these boxes had stuff in them, but no, he, he told me, oh, all those boxes are empty. I checked them all. 
Yeah, I mean, cause <laughs> this is the first time we've actually why been this far into the here? unit. We've why? only been here. <laughs> I mean, what, why? Just... Yeah. It, 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 that's bull crap. You know, that is total bull crap. I'm more pissed about, more pissed off about that than anything else. Some of that. Why? Is. And I, I tried to tell him that you know I buy the lockers because of the mystery, and he's like. Oh well, you gotta take everything out here. You can't leave anything. I'm like, oh well, yeah. That's not. I yeah. I understand that, but that's not what I'm getting at. I'm kind of I'm disappointed that you guys knew these boxes were empty, and uh, we're in here looking around, rummaging around inside them. So now there, there there's not gonna be any surprise. There's not there's not gonna be any mystery. So yeah, I was I was figuring all right, maybe there was a few hundred dollars extra in here besides the van well there's nothing it's gonna be all garbage so yeah well, i mean that's a panasonic microwave man it's you know. there's a croquet set the, the croquet set yeah Ooh. is this even like dude get a dell is it, is, it like from... a four, is it like a 486 or something that was a tan this is a tandy that's tandy i mean any of this good uh, well, some computer stuff is worth money, but probably not this. I mean, it, it's probably the same vintage of that last tag on that license plate. Is it uh, a dot matrix? What's this? Floppy drive? It's a Tandy external disk drive. Yeah. Cool. And there's a Tandy 1000 manual. Tandy 1000. What's a Tandy 1000 worth? <laughs> I hope. I hope it's $2,000. Neil and I are on our way. Well, Neil's not here. He's, uh, he's leaving the warehouse with the uh, box truck. But Neil and I are on our way to go pick up the Volkswagen bus, hopefully. See how this goes. I think I got everything we're gonna need to get it out of there. He's bringing a floor jack. I had to double check that I brought the air tank. I've got a air tank, um, little portable air compressor, all my ratchet straps, my trailer, jump packs, etc., etc. So. Probably overkill, but just want to make sure we get it out of there on one trip. We'll put all the uh, boxes and you know loose items in the box truck and try and get the uh, bus winched up on the trailer. I'm excited to go pick it up, but it's kind of depressing. because I lost a friend over this uh, over this whole uh, situation that uh, what I consider a, a really good friend um, basically uh, we decided to uh, go our separate ways in life after uh, this um, Volkswagen was auctioned off. It uh, really bothers me that, you know, a friendship comes down to a vehicle in a storage auction. But unfortunately, it is what it is at this point. Nothing I can do to change it. Is this upside down? No, it's upside down. Well, we're here back in uh, Elgin. Try and get this thing out of here. Sorry about the music. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> the crunchy floor. Crunchy floor. <laughs> Just found a tool kit inside it. And, uh, huh? Uh, the floor. Yeah, tool kit in the passenger floor. And Neil pulls this uh, knife out of it. 
It's a Camillus U.S. Uh, Army pocket knife, dated 1968. It's in good shape. Looks to be worth about 100 bucks, so. Except for the way everything's kind of rusted. Yeah. The, the little pitch pin or whatever, yeah. the latch. Since it is, it is rotating up, but it's still catching the catch. Oh. So it should be pretty easy to open this now. Just gonna... Look, it's got an engine. So, I think actually... these have a single port head. No, is that dual port? I don't know. I don't fucking remember. Actually, it actually looks to be decent shape compared to the rest of the vehicle. Oh, well, that's why I didn't help it, too. They closed it on the Oh, they closed it on the battery cable. <laughs> Bastards. Yeah, battery tray, rods it out. It's pretty typical. Here's the hold down for the battery. Now that we don't have the uh, music in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're back here. We got everything cleaned out from around it. Got some, I know at least the one side of uh, the driver's rear might roll. The right rear won't roll. Got air in three of the tires found a few things worth a little bit of money show you the pocket knife i found i don't know if the clip is gonna turn out okay it should got a tandy 1000 computer this, is this guy the printer and everything if it powers on and does stuff it could be i'm thinking 300 to a thousand bucks and got this patrick bell legend 812 cd there's one on eBay, they're asking 1100 bucks for it, but I don't know how legit that is. And there was one computer tower, I guess you'd call it, I don't know, that sold on eBay for 100 bucks, so $100 to $1,000, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm guessing there's at least $500 there between the two computers and the pocket knife we found. So that helps out a little bit. We're able to get this open the engine's intact. It's all there. Uh, I haven't been able to get it turned over yet. All right, that one's way too big. Is this one even bigger? Oh, that one's right, but I'm not going to be able to get socket on there. So we can try on here, but see what happens. So, we're going to try to uh, try to hook a strap up to the back of the truck and see if we can yank this thing out of here and see what happens. So, wish us luck. Moment of truth. Hey, look at that. Sounds trusty. That's the, uh, I think it's a clutch that's dragging. That's not on the oh. side. Oh. Yeah, I just saw a little move. Yep. I'll see if I can try to put this one in, but it's not good. So, it's stuck in here. <laughs> Motor is not stuck. So, does that mean this thing might actually run? <laughs> Well, I ain't gonna try it, to start it, it. It might be. I ain't gonna try to start it in here. But, oh no! Yeah. <laughs> things are things are already looked at for. Right yeah. Now. I already hosed all this down with some juice. Nice. Let's see if it's free up, but I. All right. Well. We have to... That's promising. Might do something. Motor turned over pretty easily, actually. All right. So move some stuff around over here. Well, that's not something you see every day. Got a little trailer. Yeah. You gone.
stop. Hold on, I gotta turn this wheel. Oh, this wall's bowed in, huh? I think it's been sitting longer than that. Um, it's pulling it too far that way now. Back up. Keep coming. Keep coming. That's good. Good shot. It's working. Stop. Go back. No, 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 I mean, go forward, I'm sorry. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. All right, pull forward. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Yeah, I know, I'm just, uh... all right, pull back. Or pull forward, I'm sorry. Pull back in the van. Keep going. Stop. <laughs> uh, pull back a little, or pull it forward. Just so we can try and give them some more room. Yellow. Okay, yeah, Jim, I'm here. I'll find a gate. All right, I'll be right there. Okay. All right, Mike. That's good. It started going, Kenny. Well, I got to go open the gate. What's up? I was doing what I wanted to do, but. I yeah. It's good enough for your trailer, though. Do you remember Dave? It's rusty. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, we can just back up to it. Yeah. Looks like fun, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna hit that uh, that drum a few more times. The one that's not moving. 
No, that one's moving. Yeah, yeah the driver's side's moving. So, we've got it up on the trailer and uh, heading back to the warehouse. It went fairly uneventful. We broke a marker light on the van because the wall in the unit next to it was bulging out. Yeah, the marker light caught the wall and broke it, so happens. Could have been more careful, I guess. The only the only hiccup we really had besides that was the right rear uh, brake is locked up on it. All four tires hold air, and three out of the four wheels roll, so. We had that going for us at least. The engine actually is not stuck. The transmission appears to be stuck in gear though. Transaxle, whatever you want to call it. But the engine is turning over pretty easily. So I imagine someone could probably get it running with a little bit of work. The van isn't as bad as it appears. It's rusty, you're not gonna, you know, downplay that, but a lot of the main structural components on it are actually pretty solid, so it'd be a good candidate for somebody to restore. They're gonna have to rebuild all the outer sheet metal, of course, but it's got a good solid uh, structure, basically. So, got that going for it. All the camper components are present. Actually in decent shape. So, maybe I'll make something on it. We are going to try and find somewhere to stop for lunch. So, I don't, always eating. Uh, something us humans have to do to keep energy in our systems, unfortunately. So, see you back at the warehouse.